Hi everyone. Welcome back to Monique's 30 minute interval weight loss program exercise sessions. As you can see in the description today, we have a, uh, it's called, a, I would call it between intermediate and advanced, just because for some people you might not be able to do this with like single leg stuff and getting down on your knees and up and back up again. So depending on you, it could be immediate to an advanced level booty burner workout. So basically everything lower body, especially these bad boys back here. As you can see in my hand, I have some pasta sauce and some chicken pot pie sauce. Yeah, we're going to be cooking. No, I'm joking, we're not. So these I just took out of my cupboard so I can have a little bit of some hand weights. I have mentioned these before. You can literally grab anything in your household to use as a weight to make this a little bit harder. For any of the sessions, really, you'd be able to hold a weight and make your exercises a little bit harder if you don't have normal hand weights and you still want to be included in this. Anyway, so we, I'm going to put that away. We are going to do our five exercises for four rounds. I will go through each of the five exercises before we start our warm up. And we're going to, I think I'm going to keep this up. We're going to have our work to rest ratio as 35 seconds on, 30 seconds off. So making it a little bit more chill rather than 45 on, 20 off, because I think that might be a little bit too hard. Anyway, so let me go through our five exercises. Just watch, just uh, make sure we're looking at form in particular and see what's around you, what you can utilize to make the exercise ha um, easier, harder, or just so you can get the correct form. The first thing we're going to do is called an RDL. So that stands for Romanian deadlift. Don't ask me why it's Romanian. I don't know. Anyway, so with this one, I have done this before, so you might recognize it. I want you to hold your hand weights or whatever you have in your hand, and I want you to put it on the front of your thighs like this. So I'm standing with my feet, just shoulder width apart, weights on my the tops of my thighs. And what I'm going to do, I'll show you from the side, I'm going to try and push my butt to the back wall. This is called hinging. So I'm going to act like I'm going to try and touch the back wall with my butt, slightly bend and going all the way down as much as you can feel that stretch in the back of your legs here. When you feel that stretch, that's a sign to come back up. When I come back up, I'm squeezing my butt at the top. So just to break it down really, really slowly, we're pushing our butt back and bending down. See how my back's really straight? I don't move my back at all and come back up. Push your butt back, bend those knees just a little bit and coming back up. That is what our RDL is. So you're using all your posterior chain, you've got all your ham, uh, hamstrings, glutes and a little bit of lower back too, depending on how hard it, the weights are that you're using. So that's RDL, that's number one. The second one we're going to do is called Kang Squat. K-A-N-G, Kang, Kang Squat. This is a little bit of a mix between what I just did, the RDL, and a squat as well. So if I, I guess, hold one weight in my hand, what we're going to do is have our legs just a bit more than shoulder width apart this time. Well, it's a couple of steps. So I'm going to lean down, like kind of like you're bowing, how, you know how in the, when they bow, they are really straight and rigid? I want you to do that. I want you to bow down. Again, doing that hinging movement, pushing your butt to the back wall. Lean there as far as you can go. And then we bend our knees to come down into a squat. Get back to that first position, then come up. So it's lean, bend, lean, straight. Lean, bend, lean straight that's kang squat again we'll just watch me a few times if you want to when we start doing our workout and then follow me then we're going to do crab walks we've done these a billion times before i'm going to hold both my weights here up like this and crab walks is taking big steps to the side so we've got crab walks and then we've got monster walks crab walks i'll show you this way getting into a low squat as low as you can wherever it's comfortable taking big steps out like this. So we're kind of walking. If you have more space, obviously keep going. But say I would go like this, take a big step together, step together, step together. So I'm going to the side and I'm see how I'm keeping low the whole time. It's not 
It's low, stay low, kind of like you're a secret spy. And then monster walks is actually doing the same kind of thing, get into a low squat, but I'm walking forward and backward. So I've got my weights here. I'm taking a big step forward. See how my legs are staying apart. It'll feel awkward and you come backwards. Keeping big wide steps, nice low crouch. Again, like you're creeping, like you're a secret spy. Okay, and then we have surrenders. So you know, they'd normally be called dumbbell surrenders, but we'll just call them surrenders. If you've got a nice pillow or a soft surface on the floor, get that. And what we will do is start on our knees. So have your knees on the pillow. And basically, we're going to go step up and get back down. Put your knees on the ground. Swap to the other leg. Stand up, up, down, down. So we're doing our our little lunges, but we're going onto our from our knees to our feet. And you can have a wall or a couch or something nearby to help you out. If this is a bit too difficult, you can just do normal lunges as we did last time. You can just go slightly down. It's up to you. A normal lunge would be all the way down. But I just want you to do whatever you can and still be involved. So there we go. That's our five exercises. So let's start our three-minute warm-up now. You'll hear, please beep. Come on. Yay, it beeped. Good job. All right. Cool. I didn't start. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Time is going. So we're doing lots of lower body stuff. So let's get those hips activated. I want you to do open the gate. So standing on one leg, stand near a wall or a couch or something high so you can hold on to because we're going to lift our leg, bring it out to the side and come back down. Start again, like a big, well, I guess you could call it triangle, up, cross, back in, or like a circle. You don't have to stop, stop, stop. Just kind of move it around. Open the gate, twisting at your hips. Try not to, you don't need any trunk movement. Try and keep your upper body straight, stable. Swap to the other leg. Open the gate. Should turn the lights on. It's very rainy and wet here in Sydney. It's probably worse. I think I said this before. It's okay. At least you've got a nice view. All right, swapping over. Uh, I mean, stopping that now. So I want to do our nice, remember how last time we did rolls and then we rolled back up? I want to do that again. So let's start up and we're going to dive down. We're going to roll all our upper body until we feel the stretch in the back of our legs. When you feel that, that's a trigger to come back up. Roll, 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 reach. And back down. Roll, roll, roll. Feel that stretch. Come back up. This is an active movement. And reach. One more. Come back up. All right. I know we do this a lot, but it's very important. I want to do our leg swings. Let's do them uh, across our body. So pretend I'm holding a wall in front of me, walls facing front, and I want to swing my legs in and out. It's better for me to balance and I don't do that. But pretend there's a wall in front of you. Ooh, come on, balance. I was at uni the other day and I was the one standing up to volunteer to do the balance testing in front of the whole class. I did pretty well. Swapping to the other leg. So this is because I practice it twice a bloody week. With you guys doing all this, really have to focus. Okay, shake it off. Get your hand weights. I'm gonna get started in about five seconds. So remember, RDL is first. Um, weights on tops of your thighs, pushing your butt to the back wall, coming back up. I'll show you from this way so you can see the movement. Stretch, coming back up. 
keeping that back straight. It's kind of like you're bowing and you're pushing your butt back. That's what the things I want you to think about. When you come up, you see I'm really squeezing my butt at the top. It's like spread the cheeks, squeeze the cheeks. Okay, number one done. This is this the work to rest ratio might make it a lot easier, um, even if the exercises are a little bit difficult. Now we've got Kang squat. Uh, hold one weight, two weights, whatever you want. If I hold it like this, I hold it up to the side. Remember, Kang squat is bow, squat, bow, stand, bow, squat. Let's go. Just go as low as you can. I can do a pretty low squat. Bow, squat, bow. Finish it off. Boom. That was pretty good. I'm getting the hang of this. I am sweating. Yeah. Here we go. Next thing we're going, is going to do is crab walks. If you do have resistance band, put them above your knees. Wrap them around your legs above your knees. Crab walks is run by and bar, side to side. Monster walks, front and back. I'll show you. I'll do it from this way. Ooh. I want my weight nice wide stay low and step wide keep that back nice and straight make sure you're staying low Might feel it in the side of your legs. And finish. Good and monster walks forward and backward. Let me just close this door for a second. Oh, my fingers got trapped. Okay. Monster walks forward and backward. I appreciate all the really kind messages I was receiving last session. Really made me quite heavy monster walks forward and backwards big squat big steps even if you take little steps as long as you're staying low coming backwards you might test your balance so stand near something in case you lose your balance it'd be better if you just take a couple big steps rather than heaps of little steps Oh, there you go. This is a booty burner, but it's also pretty much a whole lower body burner because I feel it here too. Oh, get your pillow. We've got dumbbell surrenders. Pillow on the ground. Remember, knee, foot, uh, knee, foot, knee, foot. And you can hold the weights by your side. This is, might test a lot of people's balance too. If you don't want to use the weights, it's hard enough really without it. Okay, ready? Step up, lower yourself back onto that same knee and switch over. Requires a lot of coordination. Go right, left, right, left, swap, left, right, left, right. Whoa, right, left. Finish it off, do the other leg. Good, that's round one finished. Put those down, we're going back to the start with our RDLs. Stay there. Oh, now the aircon's coming. 
So because it's like so wet and humid, it makes the workout a lot harder because you feel like you're sweating more. <sighs> All right. RDLs in one more time. Push your butt back. Coming back up, squeeze. Spread and squeeze. I don't want these. That's not what we're trying to do. Back and push. There we go. Pretty easy peasy. Then we'll do our Kang squats. Oh my God. Might need a second, catch your breath, grab some water if you have it. Hang squats, remember, bow, bend, bow, up. Three, two, one. Bow, squat, bow, up. If I'm going too fast for people, that's okay, do it at your own pace. Five seconds left, four, three, two, one. That was perfect timing for me, I don't know about you. Crab walks, monster walks, surrenders. Let me check the camera. Anybody here? Oh, that's okay. I might turn the light on. Ooh, that's not the light. Hey, she's bright. Hello, hello, mm, crab box. Oh, good. <laughs> Keep going back to the other side. Try and get an even number on each side if you can. Okay, there's something on the floor. It's a dead flower. <laughs> Wants to walk next. Three. Don't start yet. You got seven seconds before you can start. Four, three, two, one. Into a squat, nice big walks, big steps. It's good for ankle stability too. Might feel a bit wobbly. Three, two, there we go. Surrenders, get your pillow. Keep going. Okay. Even if you do a little bit of a stretch, just sitting here is enough of a stretch for me. I feel it all in my quads. Lean back, it pulls even more. Okay. Okay, let's go. Think of it, focus on it. Ooh. This particular exercise is more so why I made it a little bit as advanced. There we 
good day. That was rough. <laughs> Back to the start. Round number three. Halfway, guys. Get some water. Do some stretches. Adios. Oops. My bad. Adios. Quick, quick, quick. Have a rest. Kang squat next. Red wine and Italian herbs pasta sauce. Could make some food straight after this. Whatever food you're going to make tonight, get the ingredients for that out. Use that as your exercise and then cook with it. I'm kidding. Don't do that. If you don't want to. Ready, Kang squat. finish now we're doing our crab walks again I just like to stretch between exercises but we will stretch at the end don't worry crab walk Oh wait, what am I doing? I'm doing it wrong. Ah. <laughs> Stay nice and low. Have a rest. Now we do the monster walks that I was doing in the beginning. I don't know why I keep doing. Monster walk. Three, two, one. This would be even more of a booty burner if you have booty bands. That'll make it a bit more advanced. Notice how my toes are slightly pointed out as well. That'll help with your balance. There you go. One more dumbbell surrenders. Get your pillow on the floor. Ooh. Do that stretch on the floor. Ooh. Okay. Three, two, one. Let's go. I have to really focus, so don't mind me. Oops. 
Oops, this one. Just to know which one to put up next is confusing enough. It's a mental challenge. Advanced mental challenge workouts with Monique. <laughs> there we go. Boom, boom. We've got one round left. And then we'll do our cool down. Whew. Eight minutes left of this workout, guys. About eight minutes and ten seconds. Ideals are next. Okay. Ready, three, two, one. Explosive come up this time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Yeah. Kang squat. Kang squat might feel awkward as well. We're doing lots of nice awkward exercises, aren't we? That's what makes it intermediate as well. Your body will be like, what? Kang squat. Ooh. Bow. Squat. Up. Oops, I think I skipped a step then. Crab walks. C. Feel sweaty. Twist. Oh yeah. Lower back gets you sometimes too with these exercises, especially the single leg stuff. If you do that now, you might actually feel a bit tight. Maybe it's just me. Okay, crab walks to the side. You go low enough, you'll definitely feel it in your glutes. Yeah, now monster walks forwards and backwards. I won't forget to drum it. Ten seconds before we start. Two more left. Here we go, monster walks, forwards and backwards. Get lower. Ooh, definitely hurts when you get lower. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, shake those ones off a little. Surrenders are next. Get that pillow on the ground. Do a little quadricep stretch. Oh yeah, I like this one. See how I can already go lower than I did last time? 
the magic of stretching. Three, two, one. This is our last one, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Good on you. That finishes the workout for today. Put those stuff away and we'll get to our stretching. Let's sit on the floor. That was pretty hard. Good job if you guys gave that a go. When you put your feet together, try and bring your feet as close as you can to your body. But we're going to hold our ankles and try and push our knees down to the ground. You'll feel it twisting deep in your hip sockets there. Push nice and deep into the ground just as much as you can. This might already be way too much. You might only be up here. That's okay. Just push down as much as you can. If you want, if you can't push it down very much, what you can do is lean forward into it. Push and lean forward. See how that feels. I can imagine a couple of groans. Because I can't see you guys, I've got to imagine what you'd be saying. Oh, I'm going to eat so bad. No, I'm kidding. Feet together. I want you to try and reach for your toes. If you can't reach for your toes, that's okay. I just want you to reach as far as you can. Even if you go to your knees or halfway down your legs, I just want you to pull your body to your toes. Like you're trying to pull your shoulders to your toes. Now point your toes. Feel a little bit of a stretch here at the front of your foot. And then bring your toes up. And you feel it behind your leg. Point your toes. Raise your toes. Point your toes. Raise your toes. All right. Shake it up a little bit. Let's lie on our backs. I'll show you this way. Lie on your back. One leg straight. The other leg is coming up in the air. But we're going to try and just twist it so we can try and touch the ground. We're like laying on the side, but my shoulder, like I see how I'm trying to still face upwards, like I'm twisting my whole back right now. Great little back stretch. Okay, swap to the other side. Slowly detach yourself. Don't rush it. Don't want you pulling anything. Legs up in the air. Try and spin to get that. Oh. Need to touch the ground. <laughs> I sound like, oof. Keep complaining here, guys. You feel it all the way over here as well. All right. Yeah. Detach yourself. I sound so amusing. All right. Bring your knees to your chest and just curl in a ball wipe until that timer goes off. Nice deep breaths. And release. Ah, good job, everybody. If you participated, I'm very proud. If you had to alter some things, I'm also very proud. I will see you guys on Wednesday and enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. See you soon. Bye.